our Fox Hollow fam, I'm Todd and welcome to Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. A few months back, I was challenged by our friend Kevin Bean to make brioche bread. Well, for those of you at home, I never back down from a good challenge, so game on. Today I'm going to show you how to make braided brioche bread. Buttery and fluffy, it's perfect with just a little bit of butter and jam, or make it into some French toast. So if you're ready, then let's have some fun. Okay, to start off with our brioche dough, we're going to go ahead and get our yeast ready. We're going to add to three quarters of a cup of milk. Uh, make sure it is about 110 to 115 degrees. We're going to add a tea teaspoon of sugar. And to that, we're going to add a tablespoon of yeast and just go ahead and get it mixed together here. While our yeast mixture is setting up, we're going to go ahead and mix together three eggs. Half a cup of sugar. Four tablespoons of butter. Melt it down and then cold. and then a teaspoon of salt. Get our mix. mixer ready to go here. Okay, we got this pretty good mixed here, so we're gonna go ahead and add our yeast mixture to this and just mix it well again. Okay, we got this pretty pretty well mixed, so we're going to go ahead and switch over to our dough hook. And then we're going to add four and a half cups of flour to our mixture here. And you're going to want to add one, uh, one cup at a time. Just make sure it's pretty well mixed. And then once you see that your dough is not sticky, you're ready here for the last stop. So let's go ahead and start with our first cup of flour. Let's go ahead and add our second cup of flour. And start mixing again. And here goes cup number three of our flour. And once again, start mixing again. Adding cup number four. We'll get this mixed in and then we will add our half cup of flour then. All right, we're gonna start with our half cup of flour. You're gonna take a spoon and just slowly add flour to the mixture. And you'll see once it starts to come together and appear less sticky, then you know you're doing things right and get it and going in the right direction. Okay, our dough is ready to go here. We're going to go ahead and get this in a greased bowl and cover with some plastic wrap and let it rest here for about an hour and a half to two hours. Whenever you see the dough ball double in size, it'll be pretty visible of how fluffy it gets. Okay, now that our dough has sat here for two hours and had a chance to rise, we're going to go ahead and get it out of our bowl. Would you look at that? That just looks amazing. Nice and fluffy. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to cut it into four pieces. And this is where we're going to get ready to go ahead and braid these into our bread. Okay. Once you go ahead and get your pieces cut, you're going to go ahead and roll the four parts into about 18 to 20 inch long strips. Might take a little bit of work, but just 
take your time with it. This one's not really cooperating with me, but we'll make it work. Keep rolling it out till it's about eight to 20, 18 to 20 inches. And then you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the other three. All right, now that we've got everything rolled out here, we're gonna go ahead and take our four tops here. Just kind of pinch them together. Doesn't have to be exactly pretty. With that, just make sure they're kind of pinched together. And now comes the fun part. Let's go ahead and take our far right and put it over top of our neighbor. And then our far left underneath. And just keep working your way down. Over. Under. And then over. And then under. Then we're going to just go ahead and mash together our end here. And then we're going to put this on a baking sheet and cover it up here for about a hour to about an hour and a half whenever you see it doubles in size or gets really, really puffy, you'll be able to tell. Okay, now that our braid has set up and looks pretty puffy here, at least I think so, we're gonna go ahead and put an egg wash on this before we get it in the oven. An egg wash is just one egg with a teaspoon of water and just mix it together and just give it a nice good coat to this. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven at 375 degrees for about 25 to 28 minutes whenever you see that it's golden brown. Now it comes for my favorite part, the taste test. So let's see how we did with uh, our little challenge here. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Definitely hit a home run with this one. Ah! Are you okay? Did I do it? You did it. Enjoy, guys. Wrapping up today, I want to thank you again for joining me and also encourage you to check out our friends and support channels listed in the description below. But before I go, always remember, good times and good food on Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. I'll see y'all soon. If you like this video or any of our other videos, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and stay tuned for future shows.